In the previous episode, I took a rather naked half track, primed the parts with enamel primer and airbrushed it with various shades of Panzer Dark Grey. With the airbrush put aside for the moment, my first brush step is to put a base colour onto the cargo bin railings. For this I'm using the AK Interactive Dunkergelb Light Base, number AK1164. With a Citadel standard brush, I'm colouring the tops and sides of the rails, leaving the undersides in shadow. The final step for the railings is a highlight using AK Interactive Dunkergel Highlight number AK1165. Apologies for not showing this step clearly, but I'm concentrating on the tops of each railing, just providing a quick, extremish highlight with a fine brush. I now concentrate on the tarp that's sitting in front of the cargo bin railings with green as the base colouring. For the deep shading and the tarp folds, I've selected Vallejo Model Air Black Green number 71021. I've added some water to thin down the black green. This is applied with a standard size brush over the entire tarp. The tarp has been moulded with very shallow indentations, representing folds and creases. So my plan is to use four layers of paint to bring out those folds and creases. There are even some indentations along the sides of the tarp that we can highlight. The next shade will be Vallejo Model Colour German Dark Green number 70.896. I again mix in some water to thin down the colour on the wet palette so it lays down nice and smoothly without leaving brush strokes. The idea here is to cover most of the tarp but leave the previous deep shade in the middle of the indentation creases alone. Although there is little actual depth to play with, we can simulate much deeper creases and folds with paint. I go back over the tarp with the same colour multiple times as each layer is very thin and transparent. It's possible to thin the paint down even more and lay down lots of layers to really smooth out the transition from one shade colour to the next lighter colour. The next colour is the main colour of the tarp which I've selected to be Vallejo model colour Luftwaffe Camo Green number 70.823. I mix a reasonable amount of water into this colour. Model colour paints tend to be quite thick and require thinning in order to get any good flow from them. With a fine brush I begin to layer this colour on top of the previous shade colour, taking care to leave some of both shade colours in the recesses. 
As per the previous step, I paint multiple layers of this colour. By the time I'm finished one thin layer, I can go back and start again with the next layer, building up the colour, but more importantly, leaving no brush marks. At this stage, I can see the crease is really starting to pop and come alive. I use an edging technique to begin highlighting the edges of the tarp. Load up the brush with paint and run the side of the paintbrush along the edge of the tarp. A nice straight unwaving line will be left behind. Far better than using the tip of the brush to paint a straight line on the very edge. For the highlight, I mix in some Vallejo model colour ivory to the base colour. Ivory is slightly yellowish, which matches the green base colour. A white mix here would be too harsh of a highlight and too greyish of a green. With a very fine brush, I want to go over the highest points on the ridges. Whereas the base colour would have covered about 90% of the surface, this highlight would cover about 5% of that 90%. Here, less is more, with the highlight responding well when the colour is thinned down with water. You can highlight using one or two layers of this colour, and then pick a few spots to highlight further with more layers, making it quite solid and standing out. The end result of all that shading and highlighting, we've taken a piece with minimal detail and boosted the folds and creases to make them really stand out on the model.